Today I'm going to take you through some of my China purchases. We lived there from 2005 to 2009 and I had a lot of gorgeous finds. Uh, some of them are just costume jewelry from markets and some of them are from a jeweler who served expats and I found some real treasures. So I just wanted to share some of them with you today. And uh, let's start maybe with this box over here. This box has a heap of gorgeous little finds from these little resin, carved resin earrings that I've never worn, but how can I ever let them go? And look at these tiny little jade ones. How completely beautiful are they? I think I've got a couple of pairs of those. Oops, and I'm losing them. Uh, a little carved jade pendant. Fabulous for wearing with boho stuff, you know? Again, I have not worn it. Oh, these are just... Uh, sort of I guess like a oh, starburst earring of pearls and they're joined together oh here we go so they're just sort of something that adds a lot of drama to an outfit I just never wear these this ring these earrings and a necklace were given to me by our tutor so we had a Chinese tutor called Ping beautiful woman and she gave those to me and these these are incredible and I have a bracelet as well somewhere to match hopefully that'll turn up so this is actually fragments of pottery Chinese pottery that are quite old I got these through a specialist dealer in an expat area he had a beautiful shop with antiques and he would create these unearthed you know during the cultural revolution all of these vases and anything of wealth was smashed to pieces and so all of these pieces were unearthed and have been made into beautiful little jewelry boxes necklaces bracelets some can be very old you pay more obviously for older pottery uh, they weren't cheap but um, I don't know I can't remember what the age was and they're just sort of encased in silver that's very tarnished so I must get the cleaner out some more jade these little bracelets were all the rage when I lived there just a little carved rose and had a little string and there's a little Buddha these are also different types of carvings I've kept these because how beautiful are they but I just don't know what to do with them I should get this made into something a pendant or something they're just so completely divine you could also get old coins this is an old antique mahjong piece that I got for my daughter her name is Ella again it's really tarnished but uh, hopefully one day she'll enjoy wearing that not interested now of course uh, a little jade and silver pendant I've got a bunch of different little pieces of jade that I've had for many many years a little ball and just pieces sort of edged in silver um, and again I haven't worn for a long time there's more here that's just a little chain Tiffany style sort of chain that I used to put the pendants on again look at these I mean I don't even remember what this was but I just thought one day maybe I could have it made into a necklace how beautiful is it and it's a beautiful and cool beautiful jade uh, there's a few of those I've got a oh they're so cold got a few of them this over here this is a white jade and again just these little pieces that are made by jewelers I'm not sure how this would have been used maybe as a pendant but I got two of them hoping and thinking that maybe one day I would have them made into earrings then here this is carved I don't know what this is it's I, th I don't think it's jade it's pure white it's just beautiful again I paid a bit for that and that's just a cheaper carved shell so that's that little box let's have a look at these rings so these are rings that I actually do wear so these are both uh, this is jade and this is oh my goodness I'm isn't that terrible I cannot think of the name <laughs> this is a citrine ring in a silver setting and I have matching earrings that I've got to find I found one but I can't find the other and these are uh, I don't know what this is it might be pink quartz I can't remember but I love it so much and this is just a little jade ring but I do actually wear those quite frequently okay now this box right this is not Chinese I must have I have a few things in here that are not Chinese uh, I think that's one of the little pieces that my tutor gave me actually part of the little set the necklace might show up so I bought a bunch of semi-precious stones of course while we we're in China because it was just the affordability was extraordinary and look they range from everything from you know tourmalines through to different types of turquoise rose quartzes onyx um, agate hematite malachite carnelian just a bunch of different things, aventurine, that kind of thing, moonstone. 
Uh, this here is a pearl and Swarovski crystal necklace. It's one of my favorite things. Again, have not worn for so long. It just sort of, look at it, it's just exquisite. And you would not even believe what I paid for that. Maybe, oh golly, maybe $25. This, this admittedly was quite a while ago as well. You know, it's like 15 years ago, but it's just incredible. But these are the treasures that I found. I really, I'm not huge on pearls, but I really love this one because I love the sort of really dark gray clasp. And I love the variegation of the size of the pearls. These are fresh water and they've sort of got a pinkish cast to them. They're beautiful. Again, never wear them. Uh, this is just like, yeah, one of those long ones that I would just wrap around my wrist. Uh, this I think was Jade from memory. I can't remember. Again, one of my favorites. I'm actually gonna get that out and use it because I really miss it. I haven't worn blue for much of my life. I'm not a real blue wearer, but now that I'm starting to wear it, I'm gonna grab these out and start to wear them as well. Again, this was a really long one that you could just rope around the neck. And then a green turquoise, just really chunky. I haven't really worn that. Used to wear this one a bit. Just this gathering of tiny, tiny little um, beaded stones, just beautiful and heavy. All right, and then underneath, more treasure. And the greatest treasure of all was this that my son made for me when he was in like grade three. <laughs> so these were big in China, these beautiful baubles. These, this is an onyx bangle. And in fact, my husband still wears a bangle like this. These are made of various types of wood and stone. Uh, I think that's a type of jade. Love the onyx, love the facet sort of cut of this onyx. Oh, and there's the necklace that Ping gave me as well. And this is just, I think this, I can't remember whether this is cheap. Oh no, it's pearls. <laughs> just did the old tooth scratch. This is actually gray pearls and these must be Swarovski crystals then if it's, you know, real pearls. And then I collected a bunch of these things again because they were just treasures. I would get them in little antique stores. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Again, I don't know what on earth I'm going to do with these. I should probably use them as pendants but I cannot let them go I just collected them over about four years you know and this little shell thing these little rings I mean oh this little fan you used to be able to get these these are just cheap from the markets it's a little watch and it looks like a little antique you know a little butterfly it opens up and shows you the watch underneath a little fan but the rest were all from antique stores and jewellery stores and just real treasures that I've just collected over the years. Next box. Oh, oh this is one of my favourite necklaces of all time. Oh, I wish I could remember what the stone is. And again, I've worn it so much it's broken several times and I've lost a lot of the Swarovski crystals. And it's just got shorter and shorter, so now it's just like a collar around my neck. But how stunning is that? It's one of my favorites. I'm going to get that out. All of these are onyx. This is a simple onyx necklace. This is uh, Swarovski crystals again. All of these are except these and these. Uh, look at this. Look at the shimmer in that. It's just incredible. And it's a cuff. And then I had a bunch of these little ones. Actually, this is garnets. This is a deep, deep ruby garnet. One of my friends was making jewellery while she was there and she gave me that and another necklace that I've got to try to find. And this is just gatherings of these gorgeous crystals that I would just loop around my neck. This is another favourite of mine that I must get out now and wear. Oh golly, it looks like it's the line has worn. Anyway, again, let me check its pearls. Yep, <laughs> it's pearls. And I don't know what these are. These would likely be some kind of quartz. They would not be glass. Again, I got them through the jeweler. I think I got this through the, from the jeweler too, but I don't think it's any kind of uh, crystal. Look, it might be, I can't remember. I've got so much stuff and I've got rid of so much. I've probably got rid of 80% of the jewelry because a lot of it was cheaper. It's a bracelet, a necklace, and little drop earrings with silver setting. Here is another one of those sort of star-spangled earring sets made with pearls. Yeah, 
pretty kitsch but anyway and this I do not know what stone that is maybe some kind of agate I don't know in fact I think there's two there's a blue and a green stunning I must use these right what's underneath okay so here we have some real treasures this is the garnet necklace that my friend had made for me as a going away gift I think unbelievably gorgeous like a deep I don't know if you can see in the light a deep deep red and this is the leftover she gave me as well just uh, in case something happens to this and I can do some re-threading but it's beautiful again never wear it this is just a how, how's this for a ring <laughs> these are all onyx this is just a lariat necklace very 1920s this is a fabulous, uh, this might be malachite, no, um, hematite maybe. And then this is jade, uh, this is jade, and this is jade. This is shell and I don't know what that is. It's not pearls, I don't know what it is. And then this I got in an antique store uh, just because I really thought I should own it. I don't think I've ever worn it. Again, I should style it up and use it. I don't know what this is. It's set with a silver and I just can't remember what these baubles are. And then lastly, I have a couple of things in here. I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's a choker and I can't remember what it's made of. I think it's just metal. It feels like fully metal, but how stunning is that? This is pearls and onyx. And Swarovski, I think. Yep. Look how divine. And that is a choker. And you just put it on with the ribbon. Absolutely beautiful. When am I going to ever wear these things? You know, I'm not breakfast at Tiffany's, am I? This is incredible. It. Oh, these are pearls. These are Swarovski. These are pearls at the end. Do not know what this is. It's probably agate. Uh, and it's just on like a metal threaded sort of, uh, I don't know, collar, I guess. But how stunning is it? More onyx. Beautiful round bald necklace. This one is just, I think there's a, yeah, there's pearls on it too. And these are just crystals, I think. I, again, the, the stones and crystals were so inexpensive when I lived there. And then lastly, these might be from Thailand. I can't remember. I love that sort of filigreed beautiful soft sort of silver so these are pure silver I love that sort of look so I got these two earrings and there's a matching bracelet that is so incredibly delicate and beautiful very hard to clean you need to actually dip them in solution and sometimes when I'm cleaning the jewelry what I will do is you get a I don't know if you've done this you get a container and you put a big piece of alfoil in the bottom and then you add boiling water and bicarb soda and let them soak and I did that recently actually so they're quite bright but they will go dull again very soon and then I got these I know I got these from Thailand or maybe it was Cambodia so very sort of god it looks like a Thai temple doesn't it really beautiful again very difficult to clean but I just had to own them. That is my little peek at my china stuff. I do have other bits and pieces dotted around the house and I hope you enjoyed viewing those. I love looking at people's jewelry. Jewelry just has such a beautiful energy to it and I love having a peek at what people amass over the years. Uh, I have some other things I'll show you a bit later. I have to show you my earrings too. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and I uh, hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are.